Hello, my name is Spencer, aka Island Dog, and since Icon Developer 2.0 was recently released, I thought I would use this week's screencast as um, a way to show you a quick uh, walkthrough, and we'll create an icon from an image, and we'll also recolor it a bit to show you some of the features of Icon Developer. Icon Developer is part of the Object Desktop Suite from Stardock. It's also available as a standalone download. You can get your uh, free download from icondeveloper.com. Um, I already written up a, uh, a tutorial, which is going to so show the same thing we're doing here. It's on wincustomize.com, or you can also find it at islanddog.wincustomize.com. First off, we can start off with what Icon Developer is and isn't. Uh, first of all, it isn't a drawing package. Uh, it's, you're not going to create your icon completely from scratch by drawing, painting, you know, however you do it. Uh, what it does is take and convert your existing images, which you make in Photoshop, PaintShop Pro, Paint.net, The GIMP, whatever your uh, application of choice is, and you can convert those images to icons, you can recolor them, you can do batch conversions, and you can add sizes to uh, existing icons for Windows. I like this method because I think it's uh, much easier to create your icons in an application like Photoshop. I think you have more control and you have Icon Developer, which is going to be an easy way to convert those uh, images to an icon, which is what we're going to do today. So here is your startup screen for Icon Developer. And we have the little startup screen here, which if you don't want to see it anymore, you can just uncheck this box here. So today I already have an image I made up. So we're just going to click uh, Convert Image to Icon. And we'll bring up our box here. And this is an image for a uh, Twitter application I made for a friend of mine so we'll open that up here we're gonna name our icon which it's witty which is the name of the application and as you can see here we have all the different sizes that we choose see here you can choose the Vista ready or all others for Windows XP um, other applications I'm just gonna do uh, Vista ready you see we have 256 96, 48, 32, 16, and it'll give you a preview of how those um, icons look. And you can select the bitrate too if you want. Now down here, you can select the alpha channel, and if you want to choose a transparent color, you have the option to here. Uh, since I use the PNG, I'm just going to keep it at the default since I already have the transparency in it. And once you're happy with all these settings, just click OK and Icon Developer will do its thing and there's our icon. And you see here on the left hand side you can just click and that will give you a, a little bigger preview of what your icons will look like at the different resolutions. And from this point on you can just click save and save it as an icon or you can go here and um, export it as a, a PNG also if you just want to modify the image and not make it into a icon yet but we'll just do a little bit more so we'll just click the coloring tab and uh, I like the color it is but let's just say you want to change it just click on the little color picker and we'll select the bluish area here and if you want you can set the RGB colors specifically if you're feeling adventurous but I'm happy the way it is the step two you can choose the range of the colors to change you can slim it down or you know open it up for more colors I'm just gonna leave it here for more colors and now comes the fun part is to actually changing the color by shifting the hue slider here and we'll just move it along and as you see it'll change to the color that you desire and as you see it's only changing the colors that I selected it's doing a very good job of keeping 
the outlines and the, and the overlay I have on there. So you can just go through all the colors and fine tune it as much as you want. We'll just brighten mine up here a little bit. So that's a pretty good change. And as you can see, this you know the comparison is pretty pretty different, but you can see how it retained the original design. So once we're done with that, and we're happy with our color, and of course you can also hit reset and reset it back to the original color and start over. We just hit apply, and it's going to change all of our icons to our changed color. And once again, at this point, you can just choose to export your image back as a PNG or a bitmap if you want. Or click save, and we'll save it as an icon file, the .ico. And once you click save, you'll have your icon. And uh, from there, you can do what you want with it, distribute it, keep it for yourself whatever you want to do. Uh, also remember that Icon Developer integrates well with Icon Packager which is a uh, fantastic way to change all of your Windows icons at once and the coloring feature you can uh, not only color one icon at a time as we just did here but you can also change uh, change the color of an entire library of icons. In an Icon Developer you can also just create an icon from scratch or from an image file which is pretty much what we just did um, or an image you have stored on your clipboard or the entire icon library. Uh, in other screencasts we'll, we'll get more into things like that but you also have your batch processing which is uh, great if you have a bunch of icons that you're trying to get ready for uh, to package as an icon package. So that concludes today's screencast. You can find more information about Icon Developer at icondeveloper.com and you can find the written tutorial at wincustomize.com. See you next time.